Hello friends. So today we'll be looking in this session how we can access a Cosmos DB via Postman. So basically we'll be using Postman to do most of our Cosmos DB operations. So operations like creating the database, creating the collection, adding the document, retrieving the document or deleting the documents. So these are some of the things which we can do via Postman. It's very useful for the testing. So let's see how we can do it. So uh, from the, uh, the map here, you can see the first step is to get the collection. So Microsoft has already created a good collection which we can download. So let's go and download. So to download it, just type in document db Microsoft Postman. So this is the GitHub page from where you can download the collection. So just go here and download the zip. So I won't download, I already have a zip here. So this is how it will look like. You will have the collection here, you will have the environment variables here. So let's quickly import it via Postman. So just go to import, import the folders, choose the folder. So now this is now imported. So once this is imported, you can see all the operations here, which you can perform. So it is having uh, most important operations already listed here, which we can just modify as per our database or as per our Cosmos account name. So let's go, let's see what we need to do. So here is the environment, go to the settings. So here, if you see, so to connect the postman, with your Cosmos DB to the operations, it basically need two things. One, the master key, which is the authentication. Second is the host. So let's see from where you can get it. So let's go to the Azure portal. So here what I have done, I have already created the Cosmos DB account. However, there is no collection and no, no database created here. So if you go here, there is a section called keys. So this basically gives you the primary key and the URI. Let's copy it. So I've copied it. Let's go to the collection. So this is URL. Paste it here. So no need to put the HTTP here. So now copy the primary key. Update it. So we are all done, all good. So all the, the URL which we put it here, you can see it's coming up here. So it has got some of the pre-queries which basically fills up your auth token and RFC time. So all good, we are all set. We can now start doing our operations. Let's see, so list of database. So this will list all the database you have in your Cosmos account. So currently we don't have, so array will come as blank. So th this is blank, so perfect. So this is something which will create your database. So let's see in the body. So it says, just give us the name of the database. So it's we have given a name of tempdb. Let's send it. So what it says, it says now it's created successfully. The status secured is 201 created. Let's quickly verify. So to verify, go to the overview. So this section is not loaded yet. So the easy is to go to data explorer. So refresh it. Yep, so it's created. Awesome. So let's see if you want to see the details of the database. So this is the database created. If you just put it, you can see the details of the database. Now, uh, we don't have a collection. If you fire this, you'll see that you don't have any collections. Now let's create a collection. So this is, the, uh, this is your database name. You want to create a collection. Now, in the body, you need to provide the collection name. So let's trigger it up. Cool, what it says, 201 created. Let's see, refresh it. Boom, so it's created, awesome. So now we have created, let's do the most important thing, which we basically, some uh, most of the time we need for testing is creating the document. So that document is basically a JSON format document which will be added here. So that's the item we need to add. So here we have a sample JSON which we want to insert on this database, on this collection and this database. Let's fire it up. Uh, what it says is 201 created, awesome. 
So let's see if we have see we see the item. Yeah, it's created. See, you see the collection is here. So this is the key and this is the collection being added. Awesome. Let's see if you want to fetch the collection. So can we get the document? Yes, we can get it. You just put the key here. Yes, we can get it. Awesome. So you can try out the other operations here. It's pretty straightforward. And hopefully you like the session. It's very easy. It's very useful. Thanks for being with me in the session. Thank you.